and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And I have sort of a backlog of some new products that I've been meeting and put up, and I just haven't had the opportunity. So I thought today we would take the time to go over the most recent items from Westman Atelier, along with some favorites from the brand. I have both of the new uh, lid up sticks. So this shade here is Nectar. This was originally in the holiday box, which unfortunately I missed. And then this shade here is Brulee. And I've played with these already. I've worn them in different combinations. So I already have my thoughts formed. And I thought I would show you a couple of different ways that I like to apply them today. I also have the new blush from Westman Atelier in Bichette. And I thought we would play with this one as well. And I recently picked up two eyeshadow singles from Lethal Cosmetics. And I thought we would play with these on the eyes. In addition, I also have new lip liners and eyeliners from Gucci, and I think we'll play around with those, but I will also have like a formal review of them. I'm still kind of playing around with the formulas. So without further ado, I'm going to bring you in closer and let's get started. Now for the Westman Atelier lid up sticks, I have the original as well. And what I like to do with that one, because it's sort of like an iridescent blue shade, I usually wear it under foundation and I put it primarily on my cheeks. I don't like to use it all over, but once in a while I will, because it will give like a nice glow under the foundation, but usually I concentrate it in my cheeks. And I thought with these new highlight sticks, we would also do that. And I'll show you how they work underneath foundation, particularly Brulee, which is a much deeper shade for me. So this is something that I do like to put kind of like in a brontor spot. And we're gonna go ahead and play with that. So first, let me just swatch the three of these for you. So this is the original lit up highlighting stick went back and forth a few times so you can see. Do you see that iridescent blue shift to it? There's a little pink in there too. It's kind of like a blue with a hint of pink periodically, but not purple. In the all gold case, we have the new shade in Brulee. And I've got one sheer layer with several layers here. So you can see the difference. And you can see this one, I mean, it's shiny, but it doesn't have like a color shift to it. It's a warm brown shade. There's definitely plenty of warmth in this. You can see a little like, a little orange in there. So we're gonna play with this one. And then in the black and gold case, we have Nectar, which is a peachy shade. Okay, so right here we have one sheer layer. You can see how light that is. And this is it built up. So this is gonna be more of a subtle highlight for me with a little bit of a peachy tint to it. It's, uh, it's got a little pink in it also. It's like a pinky peach. So we're gonna start off with Brulee and I'm just gonna put it here on my cheeks and we're just gonna kind of use finger to blend that out a little bit. So you can see what the color looks like on my skin, like as it is, that is definitely too deep for me. You can see as I move how in some some ways when the light hits it, it looks a bit deeper. And let me just show you how it blends out. So that's about how it blends out on me. So I still feel like it's a little bit too deep for me for, you know, just on its own. But I can go in with a, a lighter hand, put on less product in the first place and get it to look a little bit more bronzy. Okay, I'm just gonna get this one to look about the same as that in intensity. And we're using this, I have nothing on my skin, just skincare. Okay, so this is Brulee. And then for Nectar, we're gonna kind of put that above it. And Underneath foundation, this really doesn't do a whole lot. It adds a little like extra sheen there, but it makes more of an impact obviously on top of foundation. And with the, the color here, you're not going to get a whole lot of extra radiance if you wear it underneath. We are going to use these shades kind of as a cheek base. And then I'm going to take the Westman Atelier foundation stick and I have shade N, which is the shade here. This is N for neutral. 
So I'm going to put a little bit here and here. I'm taking the Westman Atelier blender brush here to kind of blend out. This is technically not their foundation brush. This is, you know, just an all over blending brush. They have a separate foundation brush, but it's like the flat um, paddle type, which I don't really care for. So I didn't pick that one up. This though will provide when you brush out the foundation with this brush compared to something like the paddle brush, you're going to get lighter coverage. A lot of the times I will use this foundation with my fingers and it does give a little bit more coverage that way. We're just going to put a little bit more in the cheeks here. Okay, so you can see now that I've got the foundation on top, you can see I still have some radiance peeking through. I've got a little bit of depth here from the brulee shade. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my cheeks. And then for under the eyes, I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger here and just pat that under. I picked up too much originally on my finger, so that's why I switched to my pinky to kind of pat that out. I just didn't want too much pigment there. Okay. I have to say that this is one of my favorite foundations, and I, I personally really like this one. Part of the reason I really like it is I have a good color match in this line. They have recently expanded their color line, so I think this is a really nice foundation. Also, usually for me with stick foundations, I find that they get really oily and greasy looking throughout the day, or they're very heavy, heavy coverage. They don't blend out super well. And I don't find that to be true with this one. So it's actually the first foundation stick that I've used in years that I've actually really liked. All right, so you can sort of see a little bit of nectar underneath the foundation. You can see a little brulee right here. And we're gonna add just a little bit more on top here so you can see it. You can see I went in much, much more lightly with that and I'm gonna take the blender brush this time. And I went slightly lower, like kind of on top, but a little lower than I did last time. So we have space for the blush as well. So that's brulee kind of blended out on top. And I could really use this kind of more as like a, a shinier contour shade. Next, we're gonna take the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Bichette. And let me just show you what this one looks like. Oops, I kind of got the cap a little bit, but it's like a brick red. Oh, see, I dented it. <laughs> so this shade, I'm gonna show you a couple applications. We've got the Baby Blender from Westman Atelier. Just gonna take a little bit here on the brush and dab it in and I'm actually gonna clean my brush off because this is a very, very pigmented shade for me. So I have to go in kind of cautiously with this. And we're just gonna kind of push that in. So the Baby Blender is designed for use with these blush sticks actually, but it's really small. You can actually use it like on your eyes. You can use it with the highlighting products. It's a, I actually, I really like this brush. All right, so here's Bichette kind of like rubbed out a little bit on me. I'm gonna apply it a little bit more deeply on this side. We're gonna put it on with a stick and kind of blend it out with fingers. Let me just wipe these off a little. So I think this shade is gonna look beautiful on deeper skin tones, but you can see that even on fair skin tones, this shade still works. You just have to be a little bit lighter with your application here. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more with the brush to this side and kind of get them to be pretty equal. Just cleaning the brush a little. All right, and you can see how pigmented that is straight here. Okay, I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of 
take off a little bit of that product. And next up, we're gonna take Nectar and I'm gonna use the brush on this side. And you can just see, you can, if you just kind of pat it in with the brush, you get just a light sheen here. You can see the way the light hits it, but it's just like a dewy sheen. You don't really see too much color here, but I think it blends nicely. We're gonna add just a little bit of that to kind of the apple a little bit. So we've got kind of like a curve here. And on this side, we'll apply it a little bit more thickly. And there you go. You can see that sheen. This works, in my opinion, uh, it, it just it's a little bit more natural looking on the cheek for a highlight than the original lit up highlighting stick in Lit was, just because that one, you know, the iridescence could sometimes be a little bit too much. And this is definitely gonna be much more subtle. Now, the texture of these, they they feel dewy. They don't dry down completely. You know, they don't get like super sticky. There's a little stick to it, but it's not gonna be something where your hair really like keeps getting stuck to it and you're like trying to, you know, always, you know, kind of pull it back. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we are going to get started on the eyes. All right, so we are gonna start with the singles from Lethal Cosmetics. This pinky purple shade is called Enigma. So this is just enclosed in an envelope here. These are made in Germany. And you can see that it's kind of like folded in here. And these are magnetic pans. And just to show off the shades today, I'm gonna to be putting it on the back of one of my Penzies magnets. So just for note, these are cruelty-free and vegan. Again, as I said, these are made in Germany and these have a two-year shelf life. To say it's a little hard for me to actually get this out of packaging without dropping it. This shade here is called Ether. The first one was Enigma. All right, so these are the two shades I picked up. I have to say, you can see that the, they're not filled all the way to the, the brim of the pan, which makes it a little bit easier to pick these up and move them around, at least for me. Let's go ahead and swatch these. So these are the two shades. And so Again. ether or ether or aether is the green shade here. It's just a lovely green metallic. You can see that Enigma here has a color shift in there. You can see some blue and purple. It's kind of like a bright orchid color with a blue shift. So I'm gonna start off with my handy dandy self shader into Let's start off with ether and we're gonna put this on the outer half. All right, so product comes up easily and I'm gonna start on the outer half and work my way in. You can see how pigmented this is and you can see that sheen there. It's a really pretty sheen. I'm gonna take the crease two from Sonia G and no shadow on here, but I'm just gonna kind of drag a little bit of this green shade into the crease and bring it over a little bit. Just kind of soften that a little bit. Okay, so I wiped off the soft shader, but I am gonna use the clean side anyway as we go into Enigma. Okay, and we're gonna spread this over part of the green. I wanna see how these layer together. Yeah, I, I like how they layer. So you still see the green and this pinky purple shade with a little bit of the blue shift. It makes a nice transition. All right, there's that. I really like these shades. They applied very nicely. Just taking this uh, crease two again, no shadow added. I wiped it since I last used it and I'm wiping it off in between eyes as well. Just cleaning that up a little bit. And I haven't tried this purple pencil yet. This is the Gucci eyeliner in 05. I think it's called Amethyst. Yes, Amethyst with an E at the end. And this here is kind of like, um, like a silicone texture right here and gives it a, a little grip and 
you can see here that this is obviously one that is a twist up. So down here at the bottom, you've got a little sharpener. These eyeliners are made in Germany. They have a 36 month shelf life and they are 0.3 grams or 0.01 ounces. So I'm gonna use this shade, which is again, amethyst on the upper lash line. You can see this is gonna, I think this is gonna go well with these shades. All right, so let's try this out. Oh, it broke. I must have pressed that too hard. Let's see. I really like the way this amethyst liner looks with the green in particular. I have this little clump here that's just from me not kind of cleaning this off nicely. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're going to put some on the lower lash line here. Just go about that far and then let's blend that out. Taking the smudger two from Sonia G. Okay, I'm just going to try to, yep, there. I just loosened off that, that broken piece of eyeliner I had. To say I'm really liking this eye look. All right, so hopefully that just broke because when I was doing the swatch, maybe I pressed a little bit too hard or something. So I will continue testing these. When I do a formal review on the Gucci liners, I'll see whether or not there's been any more breakage with any of the liners. I do have another liner though that I want to play with for you as well. Now this liner is what I thought was the most unique eyeliner from Gucci. This is number six, Celeste. And let me just put that here. It's a powder blue. And you can see that the amethyst is a little bit more shimmery in comparison to Celeste, which is definitely matte. So I don't actually see like glitter particles or anything, but it does have more of a metallic look to it in amethyst, whereas Celeste definitely just looks matte. So we're gonna put this on the lower waterline and in the inner corner. Let me know what you guys think of this. All right, so I'm gonna add some mascara off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so I added the Burberry mascara and the Surat, the, the new brow pomade in light brown. And I have a couple of Gucci lip liners here too. This is number six Bordeaux. And you can see that these are ones that you sharpen. It's not the longest pencil actually, I have to say. It's got a 36 month shelf life and these are made in Germany. They're 1.14 grams or 0 0.04 ounces. So we'll see. One thing to note, they do not come with a sharpener unlike the actual like brow pencil. So this one here is number six Bordeaux. I think that's gonna be a little bit deep for today. So let's move on. I also picked up 01 Nude. So here is 01 Nude. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test this out. All right, so this is the lip liner in Nude. I have to say the pencil went on very smoothly. It feels, you know, when I rub my lips together, there's like a creaminess to it. So I, I'm enjoying it so far. And I think to finish off the lips, I'm just gonna go in with the Sisley lip gloss in number seven, Venus. This is also a nude shade. So let me just swatch this for you because I think they match really well. I mean, the lip gloss has a little bit more pink to it, but I think the two of them go together very nicely. All right, so this is the final look from a distance. I have to say, I'm really loving this eye look. I love the combination of these two particular shades. I really like how they layer together really seamlessly. Nothing on here is like opaque. It's like they both have a little bit of a sheerness. So there's a little give and take of both shades where they overlap. I really, really love the shade of the Gucci eyeliner. I gotta play with it more to see how I like the formula, but I've used the blue one already on the waterline like I did today, and I'm enjoying it so far. So. 
Um, yeah, and as I mentioned, the lip liner, very nice. Now, as for the Westman Atelier cheek products, I think that they are very nice. I Let's start with the blush. The Shea Bichette, it's, I actually think for me, it's gonna be a fantastic fall shade. And I, you know, I ordered this when it first came out, but unfortunately my package was lost. So it took me a little while to get it. But you know, fall winter is kind of what I think of when I see this shade. And I'm very happy that they included this in their range now because I think this is a shade that's gonna look beautiful on deeper skin tones. And for me, although it's gonna be more fall winter, I don't see that for everybody. So I think on deeper skin tones, this could be like a great, like everyday, all year round type shade. And I do think that it, it works on my complexion as well. Now, as for the lit up sticks, personally, formula wise, I prefer like the formula of the blush sticks just because they're, they don't really stay like tacky at all. Whereas the lit up highlighting sticks, they do stay a little tacky and dewy. Now, when I wear them, you know, I brush it out enough that it doesn't remain sticky on my face. You know, even if I just tap on a little bit, it's not, it's not sticky per se. It's just that you can feel it there if you touch it, if that makes sense. So I like the formula. I don't love it, but I do really like the effect of these. And I have to say that I am, I think the brulee shade on my complexion works great if you're doing like a summery beachy bronzy look. I've played with it that way where I use it like in place of blush and it actually looks so nice. I really like that. I really like the nectar shade on its own. Sometimes I mix it with the blush and I think that's a really nice addition. Most of the time, however, for the brulee, because it is a little bit deeper, I will wear it underneath just to get a little hint of a shadow and some sheen from it. Whereas the nectar, I usually prefer to wear that one on top of foundation and just, you know, for a little highlight. So compared to the original Lit Up Highlighting Stick in Lit, I prefer these two new shades over the original. And I like all three of them. So I don't know, you know, I really think it depends on your skin tone, which one you're going to gravitate towards the most. I don't really have a favorite per se, because for me, I use them essentially for different purposes. But I do really like the two, I like all three of the new Westman Atelier products. And as I mentioned before, I love their uh, foundation stick. For me, it's it's one of my favorites. Other new things I used, the Surat Brow Pomade, working on a review of that, or well, we'll add it in with a get ready with me. Question for you guys, Surat just recently released a new palette combination. I have three of the four shades and it's called, I think it's like Dune Rose or something. I'll put a picture up here. But please let me know if you're interested. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll pick up the fourth shade and do a little uh, look or so with that particular palette combination. We can talk about the brow pomade and everything as well. But I have to say overall, I'm enjoying this look. The Sisley lip glosses, if you have been following my channel for a while, they are still my favorite lip gloss formula. And Venus is one of my all time favorite shades from them. So this is everything. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. I know a lot of you have already picked up these Westman Atelier products. Let me know what your thoughts are on these or any of the products that I featured here today. And thank you so much for tuning in. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I hope to see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.